Welcome to Rebel Chaser. My name is Gail, and I have a video for you from Judge Boyd in Texas. She has a defendant before her who, I guess, had a little bit too much and went to a Circle K and went a little crazy at the Circle K. Got kicked out of the Circle K, but she would leave. So that became an issue, and when they took her to be tested she tested positive for all kinds of stuff that she says she doesn't remember doing any of that and she doesn't do any of that the only problem is she's got a child too i'll let you guys watch all right elena barrera uh vashon this is an application all right miss Barrera, yes. we can't do crop tops in court, you understand? Mm -hmm. So next time when you appear in court before another judge, if you do, hopefully that won't be the case, unless you're coming to ask for early termination, make sure your child is longer, okay? Okay. All right, court is calling 2024-CR-007116, State of Texas versus Elena Barrera. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Andrew Harris Edelman. Defense. Doug Campbell for Ms. Barrera. Are you Ms. Barrera? Yes. Counsel, have you received all of the discovery? Did you review it with your client? Yes, Judge. Court will find that the state is in compliance with discovery. Ms. Barrera, did you review the application for community supervision with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes. And did you sign it? Yes, I did. Did you review the true bill of indictment with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes. Counsel, do you waive the reading of the indictment? Yes, Judge. State, are you proceeding on the indictment as presented? Yes, Your Honor. Did you review the document entitled Court Admonishments with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, I did. Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand you're charged with the offense of possession of a controlled substance penalty group one, less than one gram? That's a state jail felony. Range of punishment is anywhere from 180 days up to two years in the state jail facility and up to a $10,000 fine. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. If you have a plea bargain agreement with the state, the court does not have to follow your plea. If for any reason the court does not follow your plea and gives you more than you bargained for, the fact that you entered a plea will not be used against you and you will be allowed to withdraw your plea. Did you understand? Yes. Did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call in the right to remain silent? Yes. Did you understand by entering this plea, you were giving up those rights? Yes. And did you intend to give up those rights and enter into a plea in this case? Yes, I did. Counsel, has your client been able to provide you with any defenses? Yes, Judge. Do you believe she has a rational as well as a factual understanding of the charges against her? I do. Do you believe she's currently competent and was legally sane at the time of the offense? Yes. Ms. Barrera, has anyone threatened you, forced you, or placed you in fear to get you to enter the plea? No. Anyone promise you anything other than the plea? No. Are you satisfied with the way you've been represented? Yes. Are you a U.S. citizen? Yes, ma'am. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived her right to jury trial. Did you review the plea bargain page with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes. According to the plea, punishment is to be assessed at two years uh, in the state jail facility, correct? Correct, Your Honor. Any objections to the court changing that? No, Judge. There's a $500 fine and the state recommends community supervision. Did you understand that to be the plea? Yes. Yes, Defense? Judge. Yes, Judge. State, is that the plea? Yes, Your Honor. Did you review the waiver of appeal paragraph with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in both places? Yes, I did. Did you understand by signing that you're waiving your right to appeal? The only items that can be appealed are written pretrial motions that have been filed, heard, and ruled upon by the court. Did you understand? Yes. Counsel, have there been any such motions? No, Judge. Outside the agreement, the state is requesting that your community supervision be for a term of two years. There'll be a TAP evaluation, 80 hours of community service restitution, and the DOEP course. Did you understand those were recommendations from the state and the court does not have to follow those recommendations? Yes. Then to the offenses charge, how do you plead? Guilty, not guilty, or no contest? Guilty. State, any evidence? Contained in Exhibit 1 in attachments, Your Honor. No objection. State, you may be excused. Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome. Did you review the document entitled Waiver and Consent to Stipulation of Testimony and Stipulations with your attorney? Yes. Did you understand it? 
Yes, it did. And did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes. Again, did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call in the right to remain silent? Yes. Did you understand that today the state will be presenting evidence in the form of witnesses' statements and police reports, but most importantly, there will be no live testimony. Did you understand? Yes. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived and consented to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Court will accept into evidence states exhibits one and attachments and the court will review the same. All right, after reviewing states exhibits one and attachments, the court will find there's sufficient evidence to find you guilty and the court will find you guilty. Are you proceeding with sentencing? Yes, judge. Anything you wish to say on behalf of your client? Judge, my, my client really wants to get this behind her and she hopes that the court follows the agreement we have with the state. All right. Uh, do you have any children? Yes. What are their ages? Um, I have four children. Three of them don't live at home, but one's 12. He's 13 and 26. All right. And who does 12 year old live with? With me and my husband. Since when? Since birth. All right. So what are you doing with cocaine on you? I, uh, I have no memory how any of that transpired. I hadn't been in any kind of trouble. I went to go meet up with a friend and I had one drink. I remember having two or three slips out of it and then I don't remember anything else. And I woke up and I came back and I was in jail. So I have no idea. All right. So have you ever used cocaine before? When I was 20 or 19, something like this one time. All right. Little story. That's okay. So here's the thing. You're going to be drug tested today. Okay. And what are the results going to be? And here's the thing. Just be honest with me. I'm inclined to grant your application. I'm trying to figure out what services you need so you won't end up doing two years at the state jail facility, potentially. Mm -hmm. So when you're drug tested today, what are the results going to be? And you're going to get drug tested today. I was trying to give you um, and I don't think it's a coke, but I don't, I don't know. So, all potentially cocaine. Yeah, because it was around the house. And that's why my husband would be moving. So, we, we're, we're moving to get away from the people that have the no, stuff. No, no, no. Why, why is cocaine around your house? Like, so we're moving. Like, like, it's not my. Okay, I'm sorry. It's not my. No, wh why is cocaine around your house? Apartment. Judge, I think she was saying she's moving, and the people that she lives with have the cocaine. That's why they're moving. So, but why would she be positive for unless she's on the manufacturing line, potentially? I don't understand why she would test positive for cocaine. I just thought that the people said that it comes out of people's pores and if you touch them, you do get it too. That's why I heard on it. So have you been touching people? I'm just like, we live in the same place. I was just thinking it may... It, you're trying to say that you might have a contact. Yeah, or something that something could have been around it. All right, so it is 10 16 a.m. Mm -hmm. Why would you be positive for alcohol? It's morning time. Did I drink yesterday? All right, and then the why would you be positive? Because I've asked in your system for like three weeks, right? Three months or something. So know. you have a 12 year old. And you're using, you're around people who um, have alcohol, I mean, who have just laying around an apartment. I don't understand why you have a 12 year old living in that situation. That's what we're moving. Mm -hmm. I, mean, like, I just, I, I mean, just, I'm disabled. I, I want to get a, a disability check. So, like, we, and then he got a better job. So now we are able to get our own place away from all this other stuff so that we don't have to deal with it anymore. Okay. At the end of the day, honestly, and I will tell you, your attorney has done child protective services cases. I don't understand why child protective services is not involved in your life when you're at Circle K and the officer is called out because they say you're causing a disturbance at Circle K and you had a previous criminal trespass there. And that officer tells you, you know what? Let me know where you need a ride. I'll give you a ride to that location so there won't be any problems. And you said, nope, I'm not taking a ride with you. And so he's getting ready to leave and you go right back to Circle K causing issues. And this is not the first time you had a criminal trespass with the Circle K. 
Actually, it is. But I know. No, I mean, it's not. Well, According to the report. All right. I don't know why Child Protective Services is not involved in her life. Child Protective Services should be involved in her life because 12-year-old around does not mix. So I'm going to do what I can do to protect the child and hopefully set conditions for her where she will be successful. And I'm going to give you these conditions. And if you miss any of these appointments, a warrant is going to be issued for your arrest. Do you understand? Yes. Are you employed? No. How do you support yourself? I get disability. Disability for what? For bipolar disorder. All right. Okay. It's ADHD and bipolar. That's what people always get disability for. So how long have you been diagnosed with bipolar? Since I was 25. Okay. And has your 12 year old been diagnosed with anything? I mean, he's ADHD, but there's no, they say. And is she getting SSI for her ADHD? No. Court is going to sentence you to two years in the state jail facility, suspended and probated for four years. There's a $500 fine that will be probated. There's going to be proof of employment or SSI within 30 days. There's to be no employment as a home health care provider or with minors. There's to be no unsupervised contact with minors. 100 hours of community service restitution. I'm going to order parenting classes. Once she completes parenting classes, the community service hours will be deemed satisfied. Uh, we can do a TAP evaluation out of custody. I'll follow all recommendations. If they recommend inpatient treatment, she'll go into inpatient treatment. There's gonna be 180 sober meetings in 180 days. Uh, probation, sorry, I'm gonna need you to do Child Protective Services job or help them with their job. Uh, I'm going to ask for field visits one time per month until further notice. And probation is you can let them know. She says there's a 12 year old at the at the home, yes, and to make sure they check on the 12 year old. Uh, probation, is there anything else she needs? All right, thank you. Uh, there should be regular reporting by Zoom or in person and the UA hotline until further notice. And there should be no contact with Circle K. Let's see where this is located. At 5494 Babcock Road. Uh, seven eight two four zero. Uh, probation. Is there anything else? Okay. Is there anything else you need from the court to be successful? Mm -hmm. All right. Did you review the document entitled "Trial Court Certification of Defendant's Rights to Appeal" with your attorney? Yes. Did you understand it? Oh, see this. Did you sign it? Yes. Because this is a plea bargain agreement. Because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waived your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Because this is a felony conviction, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition. If you have a question over what a weapon or ammunition is, you need to speak to an attorney. Do you understand? Yes. All right, we can go off the record. Uh, probation, if you can make sure that she gets a UA no later than uh, tomorrow. Yes, In this court, to be successful on probation, communication is key. If you have an issue, you need to let probation know. Do not come at them with this I don't remember thing. If you're going to use, pick up the phone, call probation. You understand? Yes, ma'am. And if you feel as though they're not addressing the issue, you can always come back to me. Do you understand? Yes. And I think you should know that a 12-year-old should not be living in the situation that you have that 12-year-old living in. Do you understand? Yes, I do. 
All right. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. I think she was pretty much lying through her teeth the entire time. And the reason I say that is because she was trying to talk way too fast so that the judge wouldn't understand, wouldn't hear the, the answers to the questions that she wanted answers to. And for her to say, I don't remember doing any of that stuff, I was actually surprised Judge Boyd took the plea, accepted the plea after she said that. But for her to say, I didn't know any about any of that stuff, I didn't have anything to do with that stuff, um, I think that it may have been cut with something that she didn't expect, and maybe she doesn't remember it, but she intentionally ingested that substance that night and this is what happened so anyway thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time <laughs>